Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over the SIG 100 round review. So normally, pre-COVID, uh, I would be doing 250 rounds before I make this review, but uh, ammunition's really, really expensive. So uh, again, the reason why I usually do 250 rounds is because I think I have a better fundamental understanding of the firearm and also I can shoot it long enough and consistently enough to see what it's like when it gets hot. Because when I do my 250 round reviews, I do them all at once so i don't do 100 rounds and another 100 rounds and then 50 rounds when i used to do my 250 round reviews i used to do them all at once so that way you can like so for an example if you went to buy a brand new p365 today you would know exactly what to expect your first 250 rounds unfortunately again ammunition super super expensive so i did not do that so why do i have a p365 on my table when i also have a smith and wesson shield a smith and wesson 642 and an hkp 30 sk why why this gun uh well one it's a really nice gun it's a really hot gun and also it's a really small gun so up until prior to me buying this weapon i didn't actually realize how small this was yeah i saw plenty of videos and i saw a bunch of other like comparisons and stuff and like you know it's kind of one of those things where like when you buy something and you don't realize how small it actually is or how large it actually is until you actually see it in your hands this was one of those things so uh, I'm just going to go over the specs really quick just to make it all official. Granted, this is directly from SIG's website. So some of these numbers may or may not be true depending on your firearm and also depending on who you ask. The caliber is a 9mm. Its length is 5.8 inches. Its height is 4.3 inches with a flush magazine. It is 1 inches in width. It has a barrel length of 3.1 inches. A trigger weight of approximately 6 pounds. It has... 3 dot x-ray 3 day night sights its weight is 17.8 ounces empty obviously the stainless steel nitron finish its capacity is 10 plus 1 with the flush mag or the extended pinky magazine like this one and it's 12 round magazine available as well and then you have the p365xl which obviously makes that even bigger uh yeah so i carry a full size slash compact size firearm depending on who you ask I carry a P10C on the daily for the most part. And this is tiny in comparison, absolutely tiny. Like when I put this, I was, it's it's kind of comical how small this is. It's like, it's like handling a child's firearm. It's just super, super comically small to me again, uh, because I am, uh, I am used to carrying a full size gun every day. So with that being said, the trigger is okay, at least again for the first 100 rounds. I'm not entirely impressed with it, but I don't entirely hate it too. If I were to put this on a scale, this is worse than the P10C, but better than the Shield 1.0. Again, that's not much of a scale, but uh, those are guns that most people commonly have, and that's how I would kind of compare it. Um, the weight is fantastic it is stupid light stupid 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 light and again i carry a full-size handgun and that is primarily why uh in that 100 rounds of tula steel case ammunition uh tula 115 grain to be exact there was no malfunctions whatsoever the only only issue i had is one uh the 10th round was a pain to put into the magazine and it also was a pain to cycle into the gun i had to really really work this gun to get that 10th round in. I don't know if it's because the magazine spring is just so new and so tight that I really had to work it, like work that round in. But when I would go to, to rack the slide, it would get kind of caught. I'm pretty sure I can even do it right now. So if I'm gonna go ahead and load one into the chamber. So here, adding moderate force, I cannot get the slide back. But, um, but, if I rack it real hard, it will go. So as you can see here, boom, easy. Now you could just say, oh, quit being uh, a weakling about it and just rack the slide really hard. Uh, again, with my other firearms, I've never had to rack a slide this hard to get that 10th round in, but this could just be the, this could just be the design of the P365 and uh, its its magazine design on how it can fit 10 rounds. Now, I've been leaving rounds inside of the magazine ever since I bought it, and uh, the magazine seems to have loosened up uh, quite a bit since then. So I think it just might be the magazine design, 
uh, even when I just loaded one in right there, it was not nearly as hard as the first day, uh, the first day when I loaded the magazine for the first time. It has less felt recoil than the shield, and I think I'm going to attribute it attribute this to the fact that the grip is slightly wider. Um, it's a little wider because it is kind of like a one and a half stack, and I would, I. I would assume, or I wouldn't say assume, I would guess that the recoil would be the same, but because of the shield and how thin it is, the shield kind of feels more like a, a jab or a more pinpointed pressure point in your hand, whereas the SIG kind of distributes it a little more. It makes me question if I should even have my shield anymore. Now that shield has released a shield plus, I am seriously considering selling my shield to get the shield plus and kind of get a new iteration of that. Again, it just really kind of depends. Um, and also, I'm thinking about buying a Hellcat so I can compare all three. So we can get the Hellcat on the table, we can get the SIG on the table, and we can also get the Shield Plus on the table and just kind of do a little uh, three-way Mexican standoff kind of versus. Of course, a bunch of other channels are also going to do the same thing. But, you know, if you're here for my, for my opinion and for my take. So if you want me to do that, go ahead and hit like. Uh, if you don't want me to do that, hit dislike. Of course, comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions about this firearm, I will gladly answer it. But keep in mind that, again, I've only had this firearm for a couple of months and I've only put 100 rounds through it. So my knowledge of this firearm is fairly finite. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Uh, my name is Michelangelo and thank you for watching.